Hi students, now we will discuss boolean object. The boolean object is an object wrapper for a boolean value. We all know what is the wrapper which is enclosed, which will enclose. So the boolean object is used to convert a non-boolean value to a boolean value. Means what is a boolean value first? Boolean value is either true or false, one or zero. Okay. Boolean what object what it will do a non boolean object a non boolean value it will take and it will convert into as boolean object How we have to convert means first we will discuss about boolean object JavaScript provides the boolean and number object as object wrappers for boolean true or false values and numbers respectively Wrappers define methods and properties useful in manipulating boolean values and numbers Wrappers provide added functionality for working with simple data types. And when a JavaScript program requests a Boolean value, JavaScript automatically creates a Boolean object to store the value. Now I will also tell how to create an object. JavaScript programmers can create Boolean objects explicitly within the statement. Means, I will here I will tell you how to define a Boolean object. So we define a boolean object with new keyword. The following code lines define a boolean object with called my boolean. See here variable and my boolean is nothing but uh, object and equal to new boolean. New is the keyword to use to define the boolean object. We have to use that new keyword and boolean of within the parenthesis we have to declare boolean value. What is the my boolean my boolean here? It is the boolean object, and it it is defined with new keyword. So if the boolean object has no initial value, or if it is zero minus zero, zero null, false, or empty empty um, bracket empty quotations, or undefined or none, the object is set to false. Otherwise, it is true. See, if the parenthesis is null or stored with uh, open uh, null quotations or false or undefined whatever it is filled with among these values within the parenthesis, it will show the output as false, otherwise it will show the output as true. Now, we will see some of the boolean, how to declare objects, okay? All of the following lines of code create boolean objects within, the, within an initial value of false, okay? All these values will, will return what false as the output. See variable my boolean. What is this? All these are objects, and we have to use new keyword to define an object in the boolean. Okay, so boolean of what it will show it is empty parenthesis, so it will return the output as false. And here we have given zero as the uh, zero within the empty parenthesis, so it will also return false and null and false. So open uh, empty quotations, and it is also a false, and then. We have given false in the, in, in the parenthesis, so it is it will give the false and null, so null object, so it will also give the false. And the to to get the true as output, what we have to do? We have to give true, or within the parenthesis, true means it will show the true as the output, and Richard means we have stored some value here. False we have stored, but it's not a false because we have given quotations here. So it will get the pre it will take it as string and string is nothing but a, some value we have given within the parenthesis. So it will give the true as output and here Richard also will get as a true output because it is a string. It is also a value and complete boolean object reference. For a complete reference for all the properties and methods, okay. Here we will see how we have to use it within the code. HTML body script tag type is equal to text or JavaScript. We have we are using JavaScript, so we have to give higher here as text slash JavaScript. So B1 is the object here. New is the keyword. What the first one will display? First one will display the false. And the second one, see, we have given one. So one what one stands for true. So we here we got the output as true. Here, empty quotations, what it will give? False. So, null, obviously, it will give false. None, false. False, it will not give false because it is a string. We have defined it is in quotation. So, it will give the output as true. So, to get all these as output, we have used here write and some syntaxes here. So, 0 is boolean. 
it will return as false like that. We have given here object names. What are all the objects? B1, B2, B3, all these are objects. So script tag close, body tag close and HTML tag close. And now we will see the math object. Okay. The math object allows you to perform common mathematical tasks. If you need to add or sum or pi value, something and all pre square root, some predefined mathematical operations will be there in the JavaScript. So we will see all those math objects. So the math object includes several mathematical values and functions. You need you do not need to define the math object before using it. Okay. Whenever you are, you are using, you can directly use because it is a predefined function. So mathematical values. JavaScript provides eight mathematical values that can be accessed from the math objects. These are e, exponential, pi value, which is you all know to get the pi value, we have to use pi. So square root, square root of 1 by 2, natural logs, log, all log, log base 10, log e. All these are predefined functions we can directly get without predefining the functions. How to get? We have to use math object and dot e e is the object here what is the what it will store means exponential so math dot pi pi means it will use the pi value and square root of 2 square root of like this we have to use math object and dot the object name so we can get this math modules on math objects and there are some methods in the mathematical objects and in addition to the mathematical values that can be accessed from the math object there are also some functions which are methods example we will see here uh, round method what it will do means it will round off the method whatever the, you have given in the in the parentheses math dot round off this is a syntax so it is the math module and then round is the object name math is the object so 4.7 so it will give the 4 as output because the round of value uh, 5 as the output because the round of uh, round up value of 4.7 is 5 so it will give 5 as the output the round function will round up the decimal values and it will print the 5 as the output see here we got the 5 as the output say here we will try so math dot round of 0 0.60 what it should give it here it was 6 after point so it should give the 1 as output it was 5 so it given the 1 so 0 0.49 so 4 is the uh, after digit there is 4 so we, have get, we will get the 0 as the output and minus 4.40 here 4 so it will take before the integer part only integer part it will not take the fraction part of the decimal value so minus 4 is the integer part of the decimal so minus 4 we will get here minus 4.60 means 6 so after the point there is 6 so we have to round up, round up this minus 4 so after rounding up we got the minus 5 as the output and string object the string object is used to manipulate a stored piece of text okay we will see already string will be stored in any other variable and what the string objects will do means it will manipulate the strings so we will use okay examples of use of the following example uses the length property. What length property will do means it will give the how much length the string is there. If, for example, uh, if you give it your name, it will give how many letters are there in your name. It will give that length, okay? Uh, okay, length property of the string object. To find the length of the string, we have to use what length property here. So, here we have taken one variable. What is that variable? Let's think text as the variable or txt equal to hello world what is hello world hello world is a string it will it is stored in the text variable and so uh, to declare a string what we have to use double parenthesis okay hello world we have stored in a variable called text okay uh, document dot write text to dot length how to use length property means text whatever the variable name you have to give it you have given you have to give that variable name and dot length if you give dot length means it will return the length of the current string. Okay. The code above will result the following output. See what how many letters are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And the empty space also it will count. So we got the output as 12. Here 
text dot to upper case what it will to upper case or to lower case what it will do means it will convert the whole text into the either upper case upper case is nothing but it will convert into the whole text into the capitals lower case is nothing but it will convert into the uh, uh, small small letters okay that's what to use that function what do we have to use to upper case of and some example code and for well, hello world length we have already seen text 12 okay thank you